To get started, place your notebook bottom up with the hinges closest to you, and remove the 10 screws from the lower case. It doesn't matter what order you remove the screws as long as you remove them all. Gently insert a pry tool in one of the far corners, lifting just enough to pry the corner of the case apart, and carefully work your way along the edge of the case, and then along the sides, releasing the clips as you go. Once enough of the clips have been released, you should be able to use your hands to separate the rest of the lower case from the system, and then you can set it aside. Now, you need to disconnect the battery from the mainboard to remove power from the system. Carefully peel back the tape covering the battery cable, and then disconnect the battery. Now you should see the hard drive mounting bracket in the lower right part of the system, along with a cable and connector board. There are four screws holding the mounting bracket in place. Remove each screw, and set them aside. Remove the connector board, mounting bracket, and cable. Next, you'll need to attach the connector board to your hard drive. You'll notice that the connector and the hard drive align with each other. It will only fit one way. Insert the hard drive into the connector. Now, you'll need your mounting bracket. Lay your hard drive inside of it. With the connector board attached, it will only fit one way, and should look like mine. It's important to note that only a 7.5mm hard drive will fit. 9mm drives are not supported. There are two screws with holes on each side of the bracket, which align with the holes on your hard drive. A small bag with four hard drive screws should have come in the box with your computer. Use each of these four screws to secure your hard drive to the mounting bracket. Once all four screws are secured, lay the mounting bracket back in your system, with the connector board facing up. There are four screw holes to secure the bracket back to the system. Replace the four screws that you removed previously. Next, you need to attach the cable that runs from the hard drive connector to the main board. Make sure that these two locking clips are up and then insert the side of the cable labeled MB into the mainboard connector, and push down on the locking clip to secure it in place. Insert the other side of the cable into the hard drive connector, and push down on the locking clip to secure it in place as well. Next, reconnect the battery to the mainboard, and press down on the tape to re-secure it. Now, place the lower case back on the system, and secure it by pressing down to snap it back in place, making sure that there are no gaps in the plastics. Lastly, reinstall the 10 screws back into the system. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.